What's up, guys? Uh, tonight I'm doing a little uh, stew beef, uh, roast beef type of uh, meat and potatoes kind of dish, if you will. It's a cold night here in the Pacific Northwest. We're expecting some snow, so what better way to warm yourself up than meat, potatoes, veggies, and I'm going to be doing it here on the Weber. So uh, to start out with, I just got some chunks of stew beef. Pick it up at the store. It's quick, easy. It's kind of the point of this dish. Um, I've already got some olive oil drizzled on there. I'm going to season it up with the grilling boards, chillerista seasoning. Um, I just love this stuff on beef, so uh, I'm just going to get some of that going. Don't be shy with it because what I'm going to do is I want all sides coated. And I'm going to throw it in the, in the Weber here. I've got some mesquite in my easy smoker tube. Um, I'm going to let it get a quick smoke on it. It's not going to be a real long cook because I'm going to get everything uh, thrown into a pan and get it covered and let it kind of braise a little bit to tenderize this meat. So I've also got some kosher salt that I smoked uh, a while back with some cedar. So just throw some extra salt in there. This stuff's great just to have on hand. Adds a little smoky flavor, whatever you're cooking. And of course, pepper. Gotta love the pepper. So what I'm going to do with this is just get it all tossed together. A nice even coat on everything. Again, that's just stew beef straight out of the package. A little bit of olive oil. Grilling boards, chillerista seasoning. Some smoked kosher salt and some black pepper. That's all I've got going on this beef right now. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to throw it in this little guy, perforated stainless steel. I'm a Goodwill junkie. I find stuff like this at Goodwill all the time. So I'm just going to get these things laid out in here. I've got the Weber set up for some indirect for a little bit here, just to get some of that smoke going. If you can see the color on that beef, you know, that chillerista seasoning, just it's got a nice coating. It's going to give it a great flavor. I'm going to let that uh, that smoke kind of absorb into that meat and that rub and oil a little bit before I get it tossed into one of the pans to do some braising. So while this is getting the smoke, we're going to chop up some veggies. And, uh, get it all ready to go here. So I've got the easy smoker tube going, filled with that Bear Mountain Mesquite pellets. Awesome flavor for beef. Um, I've got all the Kingsford pushed over here to one side so I can get that smoke going. Indirect, again, over here to that. <coughs> it's at about 275 right now, so we're just going to kind of let it do its thing. You can see it's just smoking away, which is perfect. It's what we want. Uh, once I get it covered up, then I'm going to crank the heat up so that we can get that meat nice and tender. It doesn't have to cook all night. All right, so we got the beef on the Weber doing its thing. Again, we got it uh, laid out with that mesquite. Indirect, about 275, just to get some smoke flavor while I chop up the veggies. All right, I'm gonna be using uh, just some red potatoes here. on goals, you know, anything that's going to hold up a little bit better to some heat. Doesn't get real mushy, has a nice flavor. Just kind of get those, you know, just diced up, cubed up like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm 
sure a lot of you guys have already seen uh, this awesome cutting board I got from uh, Drone Boards. I use it daily. So if you guys cook a lot, definitely want to go check one of these things out. Todd, Todd Allen Woodcraft, made here locally, right here in Oregon. He does amazing work. Just take care of it right, it's going to last for generations, if you ask me. Do some onion. I prefer my onion very thick cut. I'm just gonna quarter. Get that good flavor. It's gonna soften up real nice and Nice and tender. Beef and onions, you know, you just can't go wrong with that. So you're thinking, man, that's a lot of stuff in one little dish, right? Well, it's going to cook down a little bit. Carrots. Again, simple. The whole point of this is easy. You just got a bag of little uh, peeled baby carrots. Throw some of those in there, no problem. You're gonna get the flavor you want. If you're like me, that's one of the best parts of this uh, roast beef dishes, you know, is these nice, soft, tender carrots. And some celery. Coarse, thick, heavy cut stuff. We'll let the raccoon eat that. And once that meat gets all smoked up, we're going to get that uh, laid out in here as well. So got the veggie mixture going. We got the meat, getting a nice smoke flavor added to it. Um, for a braising liquid, what I absolutely love, um, this is better than bouillon stuff. I get it from Costco in the bigger tubs. But um, for a beef broth, if you're getting briskets or anything like that, just uh, if you want that real beefy flavor, this stuff is awesome. So. Finished up the jar on that one. Hopefully, I've got enough. But yeah, I've got about a cups worth here, so I'm just gonna add that to this, and then uh, I'm throw some beer in there as well. So it was in the fridge, so bigger. You know, why not? Take some of that, throw that in there. A little extra braising liquid, and then of course, a little for yourself. Who doesn't like the wind or have? So while the meat's doing its thing, I'm probably going to let it chill out for about half an hour or so before I add it to the veggies. And then uh, I'm going to get it all mixed together, throw it back on the Weber indirect. Um, going to leave it uncovered for probably 30 minutes, and then I'll bring the foil out, cover it up, and bump the heat up to about 350, 375 or so. Again, still all indirect. Um, running that mesquite uh, smoke from the Bear Mountain pellets. This is kind of an experiment for me. I've never done it before on the Weber. Usually you do something like this in the crock pot, in your house, in a, in a roasting pan, what have you. But hey, this will do just fine. So you guys are coming along for the ride on this one. Hopefully it turns out great. All right, here's a little close-up of those 
stew beef chunks that I rubbed down with that Chilarista seasoning from grilling boards. A little bit of that smoked uh, cedar smoked kosher salt. Some black pepper. It's getting that healthy dose of smoke from my six inch easy smoker tube. Bear Mountain mesquite pellets. And that Kingsford rocking it on the Weber, man. That's all the flavor right there. And like I said, once we get that, uh, that smoke dialed in on the uh, stew beef in there, I'm gonna toss it in with these veggies, cover it up with some foil, and uh, let it braise, do its thing. And it's just a perfect meal for a nice cool evening here in the Pacific Northwest. I could just sit here and watch that all day long. All right, we're checking in on these uh, stew beef nuggets we got going here. Those are looking absolutely delicious. Uh, seasoned up with that grill and boards chilarista seasoning, some smoked kosher salt, and black pepper. That's it. Uh, indirect on the Weber. Burned up what was in the Easy Smoker tube using the uh, Bear Mountain Mesquite. I didn't fill it up all the way, just a little bit, because I wasn't doing a long cook here. Now I'm going to toss them in the uh, roasting pan with all these fresh cut veggies. I'm going to throw it back on the Weber and let them braise. So stay tuned. This is going to be good. All right, it's been about a half an hour, 40 minutes or so. Uh, got that stew beef that I rubbed down with the Grill and Board's Chilarisa seasoning, some kosher salt that I smoked, and uh, some ground black pepper. Had it running with the mesquite here on the Weber. And now it's time to add it to the veggies. I'm going to cover it up and then let it kind of braise, do its thing. So, I mean, the meat looks great. Beautiful color to it. So, once we get it over here into the, uh, into the veggies, it's really going to soften up and do its thing. Add a little bit of liquid to the pan. I made some some braising liquid out of the uh, <clears throat> Windmere Hefeweizen and some better than bouillon beef. That stuff is killer. It's got a great flavor. And then beef and beer. Come on. Can't go wrong with that. We're gonna get all this loaded up in here. Like I said, cover it up, let it braise, break down the uh, the tissues here in the stew beef so it's nice and tender, fall apart. Got onions, carrots, celery, potatoes, all the good stuff you want. A nice cool day. It's a comfort food. There we go. We're going to get that covered up, get it thrown back on the grill, indirect once again. I'm going to bump the heat up a little bit, open up those uh, uh, the damper down on the bottom, let it do its thing for 30, 45 minutes or so. Just enough time to get the beef nice and tender, nice big juicy chunks of stewed beef. Good eats right here. <clears throat> All right, let's get a close up of this stuff. The color on that beef is just unreal. So that nice smoky flavor we're gonna get from that Bear Mountain Mesquite. Mixed with that Chilarista, a little bit of beer, braising liquid, and uh, that better than bullion beef. Mmm, it's gonna be good. Okay, chicken on this modified pot roast, if you will. My uh, Weber thermometer seems to have kicked the bucket because there's no way this thing's running at 150 degrees right now, so I'll be contacting Weber on that one. Anyhow, this is what we got going. I moved it over to direct heat just to try and uh, you know, steam off some of that liquid. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about.
That smells so good. Well, time for dinner. And uh, I think I'll be doing this one again. Turned out pretty good. Hope you guys have a great night.